Hello Union, so this video will be the second one about the one arm and stand journey keeping myself right on track as well meaning that I want to keep it simple I want to work on the basics first and then I want to try to evolve and to progress to more difficult exercises the right way, not the, the way that I used to do that is just trying, trying, trying not getting anywhere within a lot of amount of time so in this one I like to start with an assessment so I did it, I will do it on the parallels as well as on the floor to see both of them and also after that I will do a quick workout I don't have a lot of time and I'm a bit, of, a bit tired so I will work a little bit this with some legs and front lever so I'm not just working on the handstand I'm working on more than one thing at a time just to see how I can progress and now I will be in a few months. The exercise as you saw is the flagging. The flagging is very important because I want to try and learn how to dissociate my legs from my upper body, from my arms, so that I can control better the handstand and maintain a stability on my shoulders, stability that is needed for the one arm and stand. So in this one I'm just trying to flag five five flags for one, one side, five flags for the other side without moving my arms, just using my waist and my legs. So next I will try to do it but with the, the movement of the arms as well. So going like in, in one arm and stand motion but with less repetitions with a, bit, a, bit, a little bit more of an old position at the end of the position. would be better and it's being better than the first one but I still am a little off balance I feel like I can't balance enough on the side raises let's say side raises side one arm tries so when I try to go to one arm I just fatigue my shoulders start to start to fatigue my rotator cuff isn't stable strong enough and I don't feel as much as stability or the strength more the strength on the position so that I can hold it longer. I will take a step back again and I will work on some shapes just to control the handstand, the handstand position, the upper body position, moving the legs, working with the legs and with a stable upper body. After that I'm just doing some work on the wall, probably I won't show you just so the video don't get too long, but I always do some work on the wall so that I can progress on the wall as well and improve the amount of time that I spend on the handstand as well. So let's try this one out, let's see how it goes and I will see you on the next one.